In the last video I showed you how possibly find where the power steering leak is from. In this video I'll show you how to replace it. It's a little bit tough to remove just because you need a couple pliers, like a thin plier, but we'll get to it first. I'll unplug the connector. Maybe with a screwdriver. Push it on. There we go. Okay, so you push this one top of it, it's easier with a screwdriver, just push it in and look at it. What you see here is power steering, just power steering fluid flowing. I'm gonna use UV light again just to look through right there. 100% it's leaking. Now we're gonna try to remove this switch. I just now damaged that outer housing, so don't don't pay attention that it's bented now. It wasn't like that before. So what we need to do is we need to try to secure high pressure hose from moving around, and we also need a thin needle, vice grips or something in this area to unscrew the pressure switch so let's see if this is gonna work I think that's better so this way vice grips is not in the way for the for the pressure switch gonna get a little bit tighter okay it's coming off now you should be able to just unscrew it with your hands. And you see how it's not much uh, room there. That's why you really need the thin pliers or vice grips so that you have enough room for that. Because see how small this is? And look at this, it's not much room. For example, if you use a regular wrench, it's already a little bit uh, too big. With those kind of vice grips, you should be able to do the job. With those vice grips, you should be able to do it. Okay, so that's old. That's a new one from Amazon. I, be I believe it was $23 or so. As always, compare, make sure size, everything is the same. As I say before, when you open it, trying to take it off, it doesn't matter if you damage this part, but when you're installing, be careful, don't screw it in using grabbing onto this, you have to grab onto this. Alright, let's try to install it. I'm gonna start by manually, manually putting it on. Now with vice grips, I'm gonna get to that nut or whatever it's called and tighten it more okay looks good i'm gonna take off the other vice grips And I'm gonna plug in this connector. It's gonna go like this. Plugged in. Now I'm gonna use brake parts cleaner to clean all this up. We're gonna then add power steering fluid and double check again for any leaks. So now I'm gonna start the engine. Because some power steering fluid might disappear from here, go to all other steering components. But let's start the engine and see what happens. Now I'm gonna rotate the wheel. And so far still a good amount of fluid in there. So since the fluid has a UV dye 
I recommend cleaning everything really good with brake parts cleaner. The reason is if you want to double check for leaks again in a couple of weeks, you could just look under with UV flashlight to see if there's any leaks. So clean it pretty good with brake parts cleaner. So as you can see with UV light, much less uh, reflection you see. Same thing there. I'll just start the truck again and I'll just look through that specific place to see if there are any leaks. Okay, it looks good. I don't see any leaks. What I'll do is in about a couple of weeks, I'll put it on that ramp and check under it. Look through again with UV flashlight, make sure there is no leaks. If it will be leaking from that area, I'll just retighten it and then it should be fine. If you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment. If you are interested in buying that specific pressure switch, I'll leave Amazon link in my description. And if the video was useful, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. A couple weeks went by, we're just gonna double check, make sure there is no leak from power steering. And everything seems good. I'm gonna look at the pressure switch, looks good. Don't see any leaks at all.